In this video, we show you how you can use AI tools to tackle one of the most challenging and onerous experimental tasks in quantum computing research, tuning up quantum computer hardware. This demo will show you how it's possible to achieve high performance gates across an entire device from a cold start in just minutes and with no human intervention through Q Control's AI-based automated scheduler. The example tunes an IBM system from nothing to gates performing at hardware limits in just 90 minutes of wall clock time, only about 10 minutes without IBM cloud latencies. As you can see in the Jupyter Notebook on the right side, after imports and configuration, you can execute the calibration graph on real IBM hardware with just three lines of code. This is a great example of how easily you can autonomously tune up your own hardware. With Q-Control's automated scheduler, you configure a graph that represents the workflow of calibrations and characterization tasks needed, including interdependencies and enabling fault handling. Each node in the graph represents a particular calibration measurement. You can deploy this on any hardware. Superconducting circuits, trapped ions, spins in silicon, neutral atoms, and V-centers, by starting with the configuration shown here and adding custom graph nodes tailored to the needs of your hardware. In this graph, you'll automatically perform all of the measurements needed to calibrate readout, single qubit gates, and two qubit gates on an IBM superconducting quantum computer. In order to achieve this, the graph is configured to show five essential nodes required for calibration of the device from a cold start. This entire process is both autonomous and parallelizable. Many nodes involve iterative closed loop processes, driven by AI agents and executed across the entire device. The first task executed is coarse spectroscopy of the resonator. Once the node is configured, you can execute the task in parallel, using a model-based fit in order to estimate the resonator frequency. In the next step, you can start with those extracted parameters and deploy a black box closed loop optimizer to maximize the readout fidelity on all qubits by shaping the readout pulse. As the optimizer iteratively reduces a pre-configured cost, you see an increasing separation of the readout clusters associated with the two qubit states. Larger separation allows higher fidelity readout. The scheduler reduces the readout error to be below a few percent across all devices. This process only took 43 seconds of QPU time and was completed in just 14 minutes when accounting for the IBM API latency. Once the first node has completed successfully, the QControl automated scheduler advances to the next graph node in which you will determine the qubit frequencies and Rabi rates across the device. First, you can extract these parameters using simple core scans and model-based fits for parameter estimation across the entire device in parallel. Because of the steps that follow, you can save time by using only a sparse sampling of measurements. This estimation process for qubit frequencies and Rabi rates takes only four minutes of wall clock time across the entire device. You can now perform high-fidelity parallelized calibration of X90 or pi over two gates, starting with the parameters coarsely estimated through the preceding characterization step. First, using an error amplification scheme, you can see how the node iteratively adjusts the drive amplitude and phase for each qubit using model-based optimization. As the iterative process continues, the measured deviation from the ideal case gradually decreases. With these parameters in hand, you can then use black box closed loop optimizers to attain coherence limited X90 gates across all devices, as validated by randomized benchmarking. Tuning up X90 gates to T1 limits for all devices takes less than 18 minutes in total and uses hundreds of times fewer measurements than conventional approaches. You can optimize any other single qubit gates of interest building on the X90 gate tune-up process. 
Here you see how to tune up X or Pi pulses entirely using a black box closed loop optimization routine. These are chosen because you can use them in so-called dynamical decoupling sequences that help reduce circuit level errors when executing algorithms. This step is invoked automatically as the scheduler advances through the graph structure and again delivers X gates at the coherence limit for all devices in parallel in just four minutes. Your toughest calibration challenge will typically be linked to tuning up multi-qubit gates. With the automated scheduler, it's easy to parallelize this task and achieve T1 limited CNOT gates across the entire device automatically. In this node, you can again see an iterative process used for CNOT gate tune-up. First, you can estimate the interaction parameters for each connected pair using model-based tomography. You can then use a closed loop optimizer to tune gate waveforms in order to achieve maximum fidelity. Using a gate repetition experiment allows you to validate the gate performance in a manner that's both efficient and that ensures you don't miss coherent errors. In this node, parallelization is limited by the connectivity of the device and measurements are executed in three parallel blocks. It has achieved T1 limited CNOT gates in only 8 minutes and 30 seconds of QPU runtime, or just 45 minutes in total when accounting for the IBM API queuing latency. In this demonstration, you've seen the queue control automated scheduler autonomously navigate all tasks in tuning up an IBM quantum computer from a cold start in under 90 minutes, only about 10 minutes without API latencies. If you're ready to save hours and automate your own system, contact us to explore how this technology can be deployed in your custom hardware today.